Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Venom Vlog and today we have some Venom 2 movie news which actually comes to us from this website londonse.co.uk and I'll put a link to this down below and I also want to give a special shout out to Venom Gaming over on uh, on Twitter for sending me the link to this. This is so awesome. Uh, you know, I've had so much, uh, I've been so busy with work lately that I haven't been able to kind of hunt for Venom news and then when I don't see it like immediately posted online you know whether it's uh, through you know social media or whether it's like in a when i look up venom 2 movie news and i'm like looking through the news threads and i don't really see anything outside of people still talking about tom holland cameo and morbius linking the mcu and stuff like i just i zone out and i go okay th there must not be anything here i wish i did more digging so big shout out to venom gaming for doing the digging on this one uh, this story would not be possible for at least me covering it if it wasn't for him so i'll put a link to his twitter account down below and please follow venom gaming super awesome person and definitely is a big Venom fan and has been a supporter of this channel for a while and uh, and it was so nice of him to reach out and uh, send this link. So what we have here is Venom 2 filming. So a lot of people have been asking me and we did it today on our live stream what you know why are we not seeing a lot of behind the scenes things you know someone was saying like oh i heard atlanta filming say because the money shot is venom and since venom is cgi you're not going to see a lot of behind the scenes stuff but that's not true we saw a ton of behind the scenes stuff for the first venom movie when they were filming in san francisco when they were filming in atlanta uh, and atlanta filming even covered some of that stuff so for me, I think the, the the obvious reason of why we're not getting a ton of behind the scenes stuff is because there just is nothing out there to see right now. They've been filming, much like the first movie, they filmed their first few weeks in Atlanta or a month or so plus uh, in closed sets. They made sets for like Eddie's apartment and different places and they filmed a lot of interiors and they kept it out of, you know, casual people walking by to film it. They kept it out of their way. So most people didn't know a lot of the stuff that was being shot. And it wasn't until they went outside and they had to do some outside stunts and they had to have, you know, Tom Hardy rappel down the side of a building and then, you know, do his motorcycle chase scene in San Francisco. It wasn't until they got to that point did we get to start seeing more and more, uh, you know, outside stuff. Like, you know, we had people sending us videos from San Francisco when him and Ann Wang were talking in front of certain buildings. So... This is all, you know, kind of my reasoning and why I think the film hasn't, you know, produced a lot of behind the scenes stuff. Because the one time they did film outside, and we don't even know if it was outside, it could have just been on a set inside when they were in the woods and they filmed at Ravencroft, out in, out in front of Ravencroft. And it was like a burnt down, you know, sign and stuff. I'm guessing a burnt down building. So, um, and I'm sure some of it will be, you know, made in uh, post, you know, with with uh, special or visual visual effects. So this is, this why that's why this news is interesting because it's, it, could be the the beginning of now us maybe seeing behind the scenes photos starting to creep up where normal people walking around the streets might actually see some of these events happening and can film it and we can cover it and and so that's I think this might be the beginning of that or a precursor to that stage finally because I'm guessing they shot a lot of their interiors already and now they're going to shoot a few interiors in Lon uh, exteriors in London uh, you know outside but they're not going to shoot too much because if they uh, you know because London is very distinct it, it doesn't look like San Francisco so they can't film too much outside in London uh, unless the movie has a plot point where they go to London and I'm I don't think it does so uh, so I think they're you know only going to shoot minimal stuff outside and then they'll most likely move to San Francisco and film the rest there and film exteriors there so when we get to the San Francisco side, we might see more behind the scenes stuff and, and people filming them while they're filming. So this news came out Tuesday on the 21st of January, 2020. Venom 2 scenes from Tom Hardy movie filmed at LSBU campus. The London South Bank University campus was filled with trucks on Friday night for the filming of scenes for a new movie. And this is kind of the shot they show. And it's, you know, not much. You got, you know, they're probably setting up lights or, or you know, uh, getting camera equipment ready. Uh, I don't think they're maybe might not put a, a cameraman on that and film like a, a descending shot of coming down on the building. I don't know. But, you know, those uh, are uh, I'm, I'm blanking on their names. I'm sure one of you guys know it's not a Caterpillar, I don't think. But there's a name for that um, that vehicle there. And I'm, I'm blanking on it right now. I've seen them hundreds of times and I'm, I'm blanking on them. But uh yeah, they could be used for setting up stuff, you know, lights and everything. So these trucks showed up, and they're going to be filming. So there's, like, tech trucks. There's gear in there, light stands, all that stuff, lighting equipment. Um, maybe one of those trucks is a um, craft service truck. We don't know. And we don't know what they're filming here. It could be a stunt scene where they have a, mostly a stunt team coming in, or they could have the actor show up and do some stuff. We don't really know, but that's what I wanted to talk about in this episode, and I wanted to theorize and wanted to hear your theories. We don't know 
just because they're filming at uh, London South Bank University, it doesn't mean that that's going to be a university in the movie, right? Like, uh, for all we know, it could be used as, like, Anne Wang's office somewhere, or it could be used for part of the hospital. Um, it could it could double for a plenty of things. Uh, it, it could be a library, you know? It could be a number of stuff. So we don't really know what they're filming there, so it's going to make it hard to theorize. But let's just assume for a second that maybe... Eddie Brock has to go to a university in the movie. And maybe, you know, um, maybe the building's not doubling as something else. Maybe it's actually a university uh, that they have to go to and they're going to dress it up and make it not look like a London-based university. Let's say that's the case. Uh, so I would say if that were the case, maybe it's Eddie Brock doing research on uh, Ravencroft because I'm thinking if that's where all the bodies are that, you know, the Cletus Cassidy, because remember at the end of the first movie, Cletus Cassidy was like, yeah, there's bodies that the government knows about, but they're bringing you here to do, do an exclusive interview. So I can tell you about the bodies they don't know about the ones I buried that they don't know uh, that I'm responsible for. And I'm thinking this is part of Eddie maybe doing research on Cletus Cassidy that leads him to Ravencroft. So he starts looking up what Ravencroft is and what kind of, um, you know, facility it was and why, how it got burnt down. And I'm thinking that's going to be the setup here. And, uh, and so if so, that's great. That's just my theory. Uh, but like I said, the, the only thing that would negate that theory too, big time, is if they're filming at the university, but it's not a university in the movie. Maybe it's doubling for something else. So that's why I want to get your feedback. Um, and we have this final note here. Ontario Street and Key Keyworth Street were a hive of activity as cruise film scenes for Venom 2 starring Tom Hardy. So it looks like they went in on Friday night and probably shot over the weekend uh, some stuff there. And it looks like they did night shoots, so that, you know, could give us some clues about, you know, maybe you know, Eddie Brock breaks into a place to do research or, um, you know, but either way, it's most likely going to be a night scene unless it's inside a room where there's no windows and then it could be a night or day scene or they can even light, put lights out the windows to make it look like it's daylight. I've definitely seen that happen before on movie shoots where they film in the dead of night, but they shine these spotlights through the windows and it makes it look like it's daytime outside. And they put like a, 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 a drop, like a, um, a background, you know, of like a blue sky. And then they light that and then it just so it looks like if you can see any details, you'll see like a blue sky or something like that. So, yeah, that happens sometimes, too. Um, but uh, and then it says Venom 2 is directed by Andy Circus, who is a patron of nearby South Ward uh, Playhouse. So, yeah, it's cool news. I want to thank Venom Gaming because this is really all the Venom 2 movie news we got. <laughs> this is the only game in town right now. And that wouldn't be possible uh, without Venom Gaming uh, looking this up. And this is on like a really, you know, a small website, the London SE1. I mean, it's pretty much just connected to local news in this area and this community. And, uh, and that's why they're covering this. But this has not been picked up by major uh, sites or anything like that. Um, and I think it's neat. I think it's neat news. And it's like I said, it's, it's all we got right now. But I still think it does uh, lend itself to us theorizing about what could possibly be going on. So now that you know my theory where I think it could be Eddie Brock researching Ravencroft or doing something like that, I want to hear your theory. So let me know what those are in the comments down below. And as always, we'll continue our conversation down there. Once again, big shout out to Venom Gaming, link to his Twitter down below, and then a link to this article down below if you want to check it out yourself. Thanks so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.